Hello everybody, JO221 here, and we got a new Halo Wars 2 DLC today, bringing us the new leader, Serena, uh, definitely a favorite from the previous Halo Wars, uh, as well as two new campaign missions. Uh, in, the, in this video, we're only going to be going over the Serena leader powers, uh, fighting a skirmish against a normal AI, so I don't have to worry about losing on camera, and uh, just going over some of her powers, showing off some of what they do. Um, Again, I'm just finding it's a normal AI because I don't have to actually pay attention to the battle and I can take time out, you know, to talk about uh, the the powers without getting overwhelmed. Like if I did this against legendaries, I wouldn't have time to pause and talk about the powers. We are starting with a shit ton of resources just because... Because hmm, anyone who's really played the game before and would be interested in the leader has probably <laughs> played the skirmish, they know how to build a base, etc. I don't want to make you watch that again. Supply they know how to sit there and gather resources, so we're going to be a little cheatsy. And just start with everything immediately. But while some things are building, we can go over some of the powers. Uh, first, we start out with a choice between Ice Barrier and Cryogenic Detonator. Ice Barrier is a li kind of like the Living Wall uh, for Colony. It's different in the fact that you can drop three at first, and I'll just go ahead and get it and show you what they look like. Uh, manually drop multiple shilling ice blocks. It freezes nearby enemies when destroyed. And these will take priority, so if someone just moves their army near your units, their units will auto-target these icebergs before they target you. And they look about like this. Pretty cool, right? As you can see, those little blue kind of faint circles are their chill aura. Uh, enemies standing there will get chilled. Uh, and when these explode, they will deal massive, almost flash freeze levels of damage uh, to the enemies who killed them. Now, it, it's not like a guaranteed, like if you shoot them from back here, you're not going to take damage. Uh, but if you're a infantry unit up close, you will get frozen. And there's a few things we can do to frozen enemies to hit them for heavy damage that we'll go over shortly. These guys get done. Eyes all Marines, ready to serve. You're already upgrading. Okay. Or we get cryogenic detonator. These are your same cloak mines that you're used to, except instead of exploding Supply for a regular damage, they complete. explode for frost damage. Not Command too much interesting upgrade. there. Uh, we also get cryotech advances. Cryo troopers now have a shield and chill aura. Kodiak and cheese turret shells now chill enemies. Turrets and power nodes have a chill aura. Now I'll show you this and we're going to go ahead and get this uh, because I built a barracks because our flamethrowers have been replaced with cryo troopers and these guys are tiny little badasses. Rally point set. Now before you say anything I do not recommend making your army out of these like complete cryo units because they do not do much damage. They don't do Stand damage. They troops. will not kill units. Cryo they will here. freeze them. Now, there are some things we can do uh, to get insane burst damage out of frozen units. We're going to go over that in a little bit later, uh, once we can unlock those powers. However, they're best used as support units to freeze up the units so that your other damage dealers can really shine. So these are our new cryo guys, and as you can see they have little blue circles, so they will freeze enemies near them. Might as well send everybody over here. Thanks to this power. And my turrets will create circles of ice around them. So that means that I have to get close, we'll get frozen and be weakened. First upgrade for these guys is uh, uh, a heavy cryo sprayer, basically the same as the flamethrower upgrade. Increases the range, damage, and AoE of cryo trooper weapons. Basically the same thing as the uh, baseline flamethrower upgrade, except. Uh, augmented to work with their new frost. Our new hero unit is the bison, equipped with a cryo cannon that fires shells that damage and chill enemies. This is basically a souped up uh, ice Kodiak. And our first upgrade is it gives Fire the bison its Y ability. Enables bison to deploy. Deploying increases a cr eh, releases a cryo burst that chills perimeter around press. bison. So basically you can deploy it just like a Kodiak. Uh, it does not get a range bonus from this, but instead Let's it will just kind of start shooting out ice jets all around it. And these ice jets will create a much bigger version of this chill aura you see here. 
Air level one researched. Make sure we stay on top of our bases. Just say the word. Go ahead and capture power nodes. I can show you that as well because the power nodes will also gain a chill aura. Next, we're going to get our next uh, new unit, the Frost Raven. Once you guys start attacking that. Okay, we'll go over some of the other powers while we're here. Seismic Blast shatters frozen units for large damage. This does not do much, if any, damage to most units that are not frozen. This basically is a uh, localized earthquake Upgrade that will complete. shatter frozen enemies for a ridiculous amount of burst damage. Generate Restoration drones we all know and love. Turret drop we all know and love. Cryobomb freezes units and buildings in the area, stopping all movement and action. Frozen targets can be shattered to inflict heavy damage. So these two put together are ridiculous. Here's our guys in action. Now if you pay close attention before units are frozen, you can see you can see a second bar showing up under their health bar, right there. That bar is chill. Once that bar fills, the unit is frozen in place. Now while the unit is being frozen, they move slower, they shoot slower, and they take increased damage. It's a debuff. But once the bar fills, the unit is completely immobilized. Our base is under attack. But to me, this is like the Arbiter's stasis, but better. Because you can damage them. You can freeze them and then punish them. All units. Go ahead and bring our bison over here. As well as get out our new frost ravens. Very useful unit. Rapidly chills enemies but deals little damage. Fires a seismic missile to shatter frozen enemies. So these guys are like your frozen snipers. You can freeze enemies and then launch a seismic shell at them to shatter them. And on certain units this will one shot. On infantry this is normally a one shot. Tanks, not as much, but it still does a good amount of damage. More than you would expect. Let me get to it before we miss it. Our upgrade for the Bison, this will uh, upgrade Cryo Cannon, increases range, damage, and speed. Basically a upgraded barrel for its Kodiak-like artillery abilities. Go ahead and build air pads. So if my original base does get fucked up somehow. As you saw there, that, I mean, I, I wish we'd call it more of that bite, uh, but that one guy, one a frost trooper, was holding his own against three grunt squads just because he can freeze them, and they can't continue to do damage. Their DPS is ruined because they get slowed down, their fire rate slows down, and then they're fucked. They can't do anything about it. There's that frost bar I was talking about. I wish things would stay alive a little bit longer so I can show you. But the ability of the bison is point it, press Y just like a Kodiak. It will lock down in place and begin to release the chill in a massive area, as you can see. Now enemies that walk through this area, or any of our chill auras, will take freeze damage over time. Uh, it'll basically just guarantee that that little freeze meter keeps increasing. Regardless of if our units are around or not. Vehicles, just in case. You never know when you need a tank. Turret constructed. We do have a leader point. We're gonna go ahead and get to the cryo bomb. I find it more useful than earthquake. Upgrade our infantry. I don't want you yet. I want you. I want you. Now, as for the frost ravens, their upgrades they only get one. A heavy cryo projector improves the cryo projector, chilling enemies faster. Basically, so in general, uh, the only thing they're good at, freezing people, they're now better at. So, pretty straight upgrade. Don't really have to think too much about whether we want that one or not. If you're going to use the Frost Ravens, get the upgrade. And this makes the Cryo Burst uh, be larger, and it doesn't really say it too much, but it does freeze faster with this upgrade. So there's that Frost Bar again, as I was telling you guys before. We're going to go ahead and Cryo Bomb these units. Guaranteed flash freeze. Get our frost ravens over here. See if we can get some of that lovely burst damage. And as you can see, that freeze effect lasts for a while. Then move out our other unit so you can see the frost ravens in action. Here they come. They're freezing. 
and if we activate one and launch his missile, shattered into a million little pieces. So Serena is all about the chill, freezing enemies and then shattering them into a million pieces. We're gonna go ahead and get Glacial Storm. This is very nice, Cryo Drop. Drops three seismic blasts and a group of veteran units. Two Cryo Troopers, two Scorpions, and a Frost Raven. So if enemies are frozen, you can drop these guys in. Uh, you can hot drop them in and just right on top of the enemy army and the seismic blasts will instantly deal incredible burst damage to any units in the vicinity that are frozen. We're going to go ahead and use Glacial Storm here as well. Basically an extra Bison primary ability. Freezing over time in a big area very quickly. Now what you saw there is your uh, Frost Ravens will, they will use their missile automatically uh, and burst the ice, but as you can see the damage is very much worth it. Using abilities that shatter do consume the ice. Uh, they, they consume the chill effect and require you to start over. But as you can see, that bar builds pretty fast if we have focused fire. It is also worth noting that Frost Raven missile does little to no damage on enemies who are not frozen. We're going to get a couple more Frost Ravens. Point set. We're gonna go ahead and punish the enemy. They're trying to attack us so much. I really don't want to buy restoration drones because I don't want to waste leader points. I don't want to make this any longer than it has to be for you guys. Plus, you gotta admit, it looks pretty damn cool with the frost effects. We're gonna go ahead and unfreeze our bisons. Bring him with us. This bison I love as a hero unit because you can basically drive it up to an enemy base and deploy it and everything's frozen. No new units come out. Uh, supplies I believe gets reduced. I have not had a chance to test that yet. Um, unit production is severely crippled. Um, in some cases it's kind of weird. I don't know if the game is like rolling the dice every time or how exactly it works. So I've frozen buildings a couple of times and had them completely stop producing units. Other times I've frozen buildings and units just come out very slowly. So I'm not sure what uh, exactly is the mechanic behind that, or if they just haven't decided if they want you to have the power to completely stop someone from making units. Because that spells like OP as shit. Like you are literally helpless. More support, more damage, guys. I'm actually out of supplies. Shit. Did not expect that to happen. But that's okay. Let's go ahead and show you what this is capable of against a base. We can find one. As you can see, Frost builds up very quickly and is very effective at ruining armies. I don't care if you're frozen. I don't care if you're invisible, you can still get frozen. Now unfortunately, yes, when enemies are frozen, they do retain their clothes. So you can't just be a cheapy and freeze them and be like, oh, I can see you because you're ice and then punish. I wish you could. But as you can see, as soon as they get frozen, that burst damage is insane. So while the ice itself does not do much, if you can freeze units, they're done. If you can freeze units and then capitalize on the ice with burst attacks, they're done. I haven't seen a single unit live through more than four burns, and the ice meter fills up very quickly. Like upgraded scorpions, wraiths, regardless. I mean, uber units, of course. And yes, you can freeze uber units. Uh, it's just kind of a reduced effectiveness. It takes a much longer period of time. Uh, also, I should mention, coming with this, I already got the achievement, so you won't be able to see it pop up on screen. But there is an achievement uh, that came out very easy to get. If you just play a skirmish match, I can almost promise you that you'll get it. Uh, the achievement only requires you to freeze 50 objects or units. Freeze 50 things. Basically, build false units and attack 50 things. 
So I'm curious if I freeze the shield generator, can I bypass the shield? And as you can see, you can freeze buildings and then look at the burst damage. Look at their health bar as soon as they become frozen. And most of the units don't even have a health bar that can survive being frozen. So there is a damage debuff. Or sorry, a resistance debuff on any structure, enemy, anything that's frozen. Automatically takes more damage from other units. And can be burst with several of your leader powers or by your units to just take an incredible amount of sudden damage. We're going to go ahead and show you the drop. Those shockwaves you saw were the uh, seismic pulse that will shatter anything that's frozen. Even against bases, as you can see, the freeze, the flash freeze damage is incredible. It is simply ridiculous how easy it is to annihilate frozen units. They don't stand a chance. We're going to glacial storm this base. As soon as we have it in view. I mean, it's not shielded. Nope. That puts an instant freeze to a certain extent and adds frost over time to all the buildings. Everything within the area. You can already see how effective that is. Just keep moving around your ice beams. Keep freezing everything. And then watch as health bars get cut in half. And cryo bomb, keep everything frozen in the back, including that turret mainly. I'll go ahead and show off the seismic blast. Doesn't look too impressive on its own. Well, let me rephrase that. It looks badass. It does not do too much on its All own. Units. Unless the enemies are already frozen. Been freezing any ground units to try to come down here. I think the Wraith is content to just sit up there and shoot at me, though. Take you out as well. And give me the missiles. Oh, the damage. I think this is going to be my new favorite UNSC. I, I like this even better than Jerome's passive boost. This is All good. Units. The frost itself, as you've seen, does All not units. necessarily damage, but the burst All damage units. you get upon freezing the enemy is ridiculously strong. I need to build units that can see cloaks. I don't want to do sniper, though. You can't see cloaks. You can Base is under attack. Send you guys over here. We don't have any powers really to defend that, so we're just gonna have to march the army over there, unfortunately. I mean, good news is they're not doing too much either, because as you can see, they're getting frozen by my turrets. Just being around my turrets is freezing them. Which is exactly what we want. They are getting smart in building uh, anti air. Honestly, we can just keep steamrolling. So. I'm not too concerned. Once we get these uh, nightingales over there, we're golden. If they don't die. Okay, nightingales, come on over here. Go, go have a healing party or something. Go fix each other. No, we need to kill those shrouds. The hardest fight I've had from a normal AI in a while, though, give them that. Although, uh, it, you have noticed, even when units are close, they can still be frozen. They just can't be directly targeted as normal, so you have to rely on the area of effect freezes to get to them. But you can still freeze them, they're not invulnerable to the status effect. Go ahead and let some repairs happen so I don't lose half my army when I hit the base. Yeah, as you guys can see, very frost oriented and very burst damage oriented. Very good at map control as well. Laying these frost spikes and laying these auras is going to be a massive deterrent for any enemy that wants to get through that area. 
you can basically lock off areas of the map and say, yeah, you can come through, but you're gonna take damage on your way. And there's nothing you can do about that. Heels down. Everyone's basically full health. Let's go ahead and tackle this base. Get everybody to group up up here on the hill, and then we'll charge. And you can see these last for quite a while. I mean, just the chill aura itself is very formidable. Because imagine an enemy army walking through here to surprise your base, right? They get caught in this. You can see them because these things have their own sight through fog of war. Uh, especially the frost aura, it's a rather impressive line of sight, in my opinion. We've lost a um, to the enemy. But you can freeze them, and while they're being frozen, by the time your army comes over here, some of them, at least some of them, will be frozen, and you can just get instant burst damage and instant kills on half the army that just came after you. And we're gonna freeze this base. Go ahead and drop that. And then go ahead and drop that on top of the frozen structures for bonus damage. See if we can get the shield generator down. Back corner. Yeah, there, that's the damage we got with the seismic blast on that apex while it was frozen. As you can see, Frost is a very formidable foe. Look at this base's health. Someone clean up this mess. It's great. I have no complaints. I'll show you really quickly. Your mines look basically the same. Just cloaked mines. Except when they explode, they freeze units. Only difference. Nothing major. So in general, this is the army you want. You want, you can't build an army purely out of her new units and be amazing, but you can definitely build a couple of them. Serena is a badass support leader. In team games, go around freezing everything. If you can coordinate your attacks with your teammates and flash freeze an entire army and that you and your teammates can then just mow through, imagine the damage potential. An army that is helpless do anything to get away from you. And you see here, even the flight speed of the shroud is dra dramatically reduced as it was being frozen. Powers yet? I don't have the population. That's okay. Nothing's gonna live long enough anyway. Oh, it's so nice. I like it. It's one of my favorite leaders to use now. Serena is gonna be my new favorite. Doesn't do too much against main bases, but it, all the smaller buildings take huge damage. I mean, I'd say the chunk is respectable, even on larger bases. It's not nothing ridiculous. It's not going to two-shot a fully uh, built base, but it'll take out decent chunks, especially when supplemented by other units. Um, so all in all, thoughts for Serena? Badass. Uh, very good crowd control very good crowd control. I'd say better than the Arbiter. Because the Arbiter, yes, he can do mass stasis with several powers, but he can't damage those units. You can't kill them while they're stuck. You can kill them while they're frozen. In fact, they are ridiculously easy to kill while frozen. And if you guys want to go ahead and get this DLC now while it's still new, I'm sure eventually it won't be classified as rare, but currently it is classified as a rare achievement um, to freeze 50 units. You don't even have to necessarily kill them. Uh, just freezing 50 enemies 
whether they be buildings, units, does not matter. If you can freeze them, they will most likely die immediately, and you will get your achievement. Uh, works for me. And yeah, that's my final thoughts on Serena. I'm going to be playing her a lot. Uh, I have, because that was my only complaint about the Arbiter, if you guys checked out that video, uh, was that the Arbiter stasis was useful, but it kind of felt like a handicap because you couldn't kill the units. You couldn't damage them. It was just kind of a pause button. Serena, on the other hand, you can freeze and then extremely damage. You can be ruthless. And that burst damage, as you saw, it was hitting Marauders for half their health, Wraiths for a third, bases for maybe a tenth, if I had to guess. And the fact that you can create those auras all around the map off of turrets and icicles and uh, power structures, and they all give you line of sight, her map control is going to be fabulous. Um, if you want to, this is your support role, who can also solo. I can see this being viable for people who want a team game, who aren't really bothered about getting the most kills per se, but want to help. Send out your cryo units. Freeze enemies for your teammates to annihilate. Or if you just want to supplement them to your own army, you can steamroll over armies no problem, even with counter units. Because you can freeze counters before they can kill. As you saw there, my army was 90% air, and I was fighting mostly reavers and wraiths. I would freeze that you can freeze reavers before they can even shoot down your areas. It's ridiculous. And I love everything about it. With that being said, that's going to be all for this video. Uh, I'm going to do the two I'm going to do a walkthrough of the two new campaign missions in a separate video that will be coming up shortly after this. Um, I hope you guys enjoy Serena and I hope to see you guys out on the battlefield. Thank you for tuning in as always and have a great day.